In this video, I want to be going over 50 new features in our Scorched Earth. These could be small little changes or huge changes, new creatures, buildings, or just like simple little quality of life changes. All of that in this video. The first change we have is there are now shovels in the game. You can use these to dig water out of the ground and you'll have an immediate water source. They also have a bunch of other functions as well. Two, we have pots. These potted plants you can use to actually get any plant you want. So you just go up to it with a shovel. For example, this cactus, I can just dig at it and it will allow me to place it anywhere. I can place it in my base and it also works with bushes and stuff like that. Number three, we have water reservoirs. These have 100,000 storage and water and you can use them to irrigate things or fill up your water with or drink out of them. They are very useful. And at number four, we have tumbleweeds. These will go around the map as like dust storms are coming up or different types of storms are coming. You'll notice these little tumbleweeds around the area. At number five, we have hanging signs. You can place these above or under things and you can type little messages on them and change the size of the text and stuff. Number six, we have the lamps. There's the big lamp there, and then there's the one that you can place on the ground. I'll show off the big lamp a little bit more because they're really cool. They're like street lamps that you can place around. And then we have the wall lamps. These are all in the same thing, so you just build the lamp and you can choose between which one you want to place. And then my personal favorite, the chandelier that you can place on the ceiling. It's really cool and no, nothing like we've ever had before. The next item we have is Death Essence at number 7. This one you'll get from when you kill one of your dinos or your dinos dies, you get the Death Essence, which I'll explain what it's used for later. At number 8 we have Sandstorms. These were in the game before, but now of course you can see them right as they're coming and there are these huge storms that come past and they look really cool. I'm pretty sure you notice them in the trailer, but yeah, they're really dope. At number 9 we have Bob's Explorer Notes. You can find these around the map. And there'll be like a little animation with a voiceover from Bob. And if you find all of them, you'll get a plus five levels for your character, which will allow you to get five extra levels, which is always nice. And number 10 is the Fossilosuchus. This is a new creature found in the dunes area. It was voted in by the community to be added and is a really cool creature. You can like swim around in the sand and like make stuff sink in the sand with it. You'll find it in the dunes and it swims in the sand like this as well. And you can kind of go really fast. It's like the concave editor from the Arc Editions mod. And then we have well irrigation. Wells can now have a range which will irrigate the things around it, which is of course really useful for stuff in your base. And number 12 is bottles. You can shoot these little bottles down and break them and they will respawn after a little bit, but they're kind of just more of a decoration thing or something to mess around with. Number 13 is phoenixes can now spawn in blue, like they have different color regions and you can find a blue phoenix. And number 14 is windmills. These are good because on scorched earth your generators will deteriorate but with the windmill it makes it to where they deteriorate slower which is always nice and number 15 we have the brand new oasis or creature this one is an absolutely dope creature you find it in the dune areas and it will roam around it can fly around it has different resources on its back when you tame it you can actually get those resources passively as well as it can bring creatures back to life which is what the death essence is used for overall this is a pretty cool creature Number 16, we have the sofas and these little chairs too. So you have these chairs, which look really nice, and these sofas with the same looking aesthetic. It's really nice having more decoration options in the game, and these two are definitely a nice addition with those. After that, we have the Outlaw skin set. This is one of the cowboy skin sets you can get. And you don't have to have just these ones because there's two different ones with number 18, the Drifter skin set. Both of these look really cool. And of course, you can mix and match the cowboy outfit. So if you don't like a certain piece, you can swap it out for the other one. And number 19, we have the best item added in this update, and it is the swivel chair. You can swivel around in circles, and yeah, uh, you can swivel around. It's pretty dope. And then not as good as the swivel chair, but the saloon chair. Just a different looking regular wooden chair, but it's nice to have some other options than the wooden chairs. And then we have the saloon table as well, a nice round table. We haven't had any big tables like this in ARC. We have like that rectangular one, but now we have this big round one that you can put stuff on. And then we have the Frontier Structure Skins. You just cost like one wood and then you can place them on any structure and you can make it look like the Frontier set, which looks really nice. Even though I'm probably not going to use it that much because I love the look of Adobe, but I built a little house here so you can see what it looks like. And then we have the Jailhouse Door Skin. This comes with the Frontier Skin set and it's a pretty nice looking door if you want to make like a little jail area. And then we also have the Saloon Door Skin. This one's probably my favorite door skin. It just looks really cool having these things that you can push open. It only works on the double door ones though. And at number 25, we have the Frontier Glass Walls. This is another thing you can use in the Frontier skin set, which is really cool. I really do like the addition of these glass walls. Because before, we'd have to use, like, greenhouse walls in order to make these glass walls. But now we just have the glass walls we can place with these skins. Number 26, you can use the shovel to till soil, and it gives a 30% boost to the crop growth rate, which is always a nice addition. 
Number 27 is there's new icons for all of these items here. If you played Arc Survival Evolved a lot, you'll probably notice them instantly. I had noticed them, so that's why I threw it in here. Number 28 is you can now get poker tables. Of course, if the swivel chair wasn't good enough for you, they now have gambling in the game too, so you can gamble all your items away in a fight and possibly lose all of them. But you can basically like convert stuff into currency and choose which ones you want, which is kind of nice. And then we have the canvas frame. For the little canvases, you can add a golden frame to it with the frontier skins, and it looks kind of nice. And then phoenixes can finally land. I'm so glad they added this because phoenixes before couldn't land, and they would just sit there and fly, and it's kind of annoying. And then we have the frontier sign skin. So you can put this on a sign to make it look a little bit nicer, and I think it does look pretty cool. At 32, we have trains. This is a really cool addition. You can basically get a train. It's powered by charcoal. You could add up to five carts. And then you can build these giant train tracks as well. You can basically like teleport between the tracks as you can see right here. That's how you get between them and you can build on them. I built all this as an example and I built this little stables here which I think is a really cool idea. Just an example of what you can do on these trains. Number 33 is the desert ghillie skin. It only works on ghillie from what I tested and I think you don't need the Bob's Tall Tales either to get this. Number 34 is the piano. At first I thought this was just a decoration item. But you can actually use it to play all of the ARC soundtrack, which is an addition I absolutely love. And I'll let some of the ARC play, or let it play so you can see how it works. And in number 35, you can use the Merla Tops to irrigate things. You can enable irrigation and it will irrigate all the water you needed in your area. Number 36, we have barrels. These are little storage bins that have 40 storage slots, so you can use these for storage. As well as they have a neat feature where you can actually hide inside of them, which is kind of funny. Number 37 is drawing paper. It's like a canvas, but you can put it at any size you want just by moving it, and it's pretty easy to do. You just move the camera wherever you want, and it automatically goes there, and it's pretty cool. Number 38 is carts. This is probably one of the coolest additions they've added. You can have these little wagons on the back, so you can put stuff on them. You can put storage stuff on them as well. The animals now have cart slots as well, so you can put those carts on there. And you can build on the sides of them as well to make them bigger and like build a little house on the cart too. The physics on them don't really make much sense as you can just pick it up with an RG and fly it around, which is kind of funny. But also, all the stuff you put on the cart has increased weight by like a third, 30%, which is nice. And then at 39, we have the dynamite skin for C4. It basically makes C4 look like dynamite, but it's a quite nice aesthetic. It definitely is kind of satisfying throwing down dynamite sticks. Number 40 is the coffin. These are basically beds, but you can also place them upright as well. But you can sleep in them, fast travel. But you can also make a copy of yourself, as you can see right here. You just do capture shot, and it just puts like your exact guy in there. Number 41 is dust appears on buildings when there's like a little dust storm coming up, which is kind of a nice little detail. Number 42 is they have scaffolding. Uh, it's not really like a specific use for it. It just has a nice little aesthetic if you want to have something else in your building. And number 42 is the sinister hat skin. There's multiple different hat skins and this is one of them. It's kind of like this black hat and it looks pretty nice. And then at 43 we have the bowler hat. This one is probably one I won't be using but it is a kind of a funny looking one. Number 44, we have treasure chests. These are like storage boxes. They have 15 slots, but they look a lot nicer. But they also have an added function as you can bury them with the shovel. You can also find buried treasures across the map. And how you do that, I believe you get treasure maps from killing dinos randomly, and they have some pretty good loot inside of these treasure chests. You can also dig up the ones you do as well. And then we have the bell. Apparently this one will make all your creatures in the area aggressive or defend once you sound the bell alarm in a pretty big radius as well so those bells are pretty cool as well as just being a nice little aesthetic thing and then there's a brand new cave that's the entrance right there right next to red obelisk it is the oasis cave this crystal area i think is probably one of the coolest looking areas in the whole map it's really dope but this new cave has got a lot of foliage and a lot of water and stuff in it after that is form 47 this is a small little one but the golems now have glowing eyes they're like glowing orange and makes them quite menacing Number 48 is there's new ruins near the Red Obelisk. This is a really cool set of ruins. And it's like right on the side of the cliff here. Before there was like absolutely nothing here. But now there's a really cool set of ruins. Number 49, the Wyvern Trench Cave. Inside the Wyvern Trench, there's this new cave. And it's really cool and detailed. And with all like the Wyvern pillar hexagon things inside of it, it looks dope. And num number 50, we have these cliff ruins at the edge of the map. You can find them. They're underneath this cliff and they look really, really cool. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.